he heard my husband pleading with him not to kill him, that he had a wife and he had children. You can't pay the price, not until my husband comes up that driveway. The widow of NYPD patrolman Joseph Piagentini, assassinated with his partner Waverly Jones in 1971, doesn't think 49 years behind bars is enough for Black Liberation Army member Anthony Bottom, who now goes by the name Jalil Abdul Muntankum. Yet Bottom once explained in prison what drove him to armed resistance. The, the, the assassination of Martin Luther King, that's one thing that impacts me, being called outside of my name, you know, the N-word, those fighting words. Now almost 69, Bottom was 19 when he was arrested in California with two other members of the BLA for the double NYPD assassination, along with the execution of a San Francisco police sergeant. On May 21st, 1971, the group had lured the two New York cops to a Harlem housing project with a phony 911 call. Trial testimony revealed Bottom was asked why he killed a black officer. And he turned around and said, a pig is a pig. Albert Washington, who planned the killings, died in prison. And the other accomplice, Herman Bell, was released in 2018. After the son of slain officer Jones wrote the parole board advocating for Bell's freedom, saying he had forgiven him and didn't want more reminders of the painful episode. A Sullivan County judge ordered a 10th parole hearing for Bottom in August this year, and the minutes aren't public yet. The laws in 1971 had not yet been tweaked to allow life without parole for killing a cop. Governor Cuomo issued an executive order in 2011 calling on the state's parole board to be forward thinking when considering an inmate's release. A call to focus more on a prisoner's rehabilitation over his or her original crime. The police union issued a statement pointing out that 16 cop killers have been released in just the last three years because of state policies. Anthony Bottom is expected to be paroled at or before October 20th. I'm Mary Murphy, PIX11 News.